Hello, my name is John Palmazano. I'm from the website societyofrobots.com and today I'm going to show you adaptive mapping with the iRobot Create. So as you can see, I have a servo here, I have a Sharp IR right here, and I plug them both into this middle port right here. So the first algorithm I'm going to show you is the most basic algorithm, which is start at its pre-programmed start location, and finish as pre-programmed in location, which is right there. So what it first does is it scans, looks for an object. It doesn't see an object, it'll just keep going straight towards its pre-programmed in location. And it'll keep repeating this until it reaches that. If there was an object, which I'll show you in a minute, it'll adapt around these objects to still reach that pre-programmed in location. When it's finished, it'll play the in victory music. Now the next algorithm I'm going to show you is with actual objects in the way. So I'll reset it. And I'll run it. And while it's running, I'm going to go get some objects. So I have one object in the way. It detected the object, so now it's going to go around the object to reach the end location. Now this is adaptive mapping. So if I had the object there, it'll put it in its map. But if I remove the object later, it, it'll remove the object from its map if it rescans that same position. Now this is still very basic. So what I'm going to show you next is a lot more objects. So that's his victory music again. So I'm going to put it back in its start location, I reset it, and I'm going to run it again, this time with more objects. So this is still the same program it's running before, but now because there's more objects in the way, it can't take that same path anymore. So it recalculates the most optimal path to take, which in this case is going the other way around. As you can see, it's doing 90 degree angles. I did this for computational simplicity, but if I wanted, I could have it do 45 degree angles as well which would be more optimal, but this was much easier for a beginner. It found the location again. So now I'm going to do something a little bit more difficult. I'm going to do adaptive mapping. I reset it. And I run it again. This time, I'm going to move the objects around while it's mapping. So it can't find an exit. It's trying to find a way out, but it can't. I've completely blocked it. What is it going to do? Well, I can move stuff out of the way, and it'll readapt. It'll say, hey, there's nothing here now. So now let's just move towards the target. As you can see, the robot is slightly off an angle now. This is because the encoders on the iRobot Create aren't perfect, and they'll drift over time. 
Also, the carpet is really bad for encoders because the carpet is not really rigid, sort of moves around, so it causes slight drift. And with adaptive mapping, this is good because the map will just readapt to these drifts. Now I'm going to play with it a lot and have lots of fun. So I'll reset it and I'll run it and I'm just going to throw regular household objects in the way. So we have say, I don't know, a jug. We have a pile of books, random. We have a pot. We have a robot. Robot right here. So I'm going to move the pile of books here to give it a way out. So it's still a bit confused. It sees all these objects in the way, but now it's adapting. No longer has an object here. There was originally a pile of books here. I don't know if you remember, but I removed it. Now it knows that it's no longer there. So it's moving along. So it thinks it can reach the goal just by going straight. But it can't. There's a pot there in the way, there's this jug in the way. So now it's going to plan a path around. So at first it tried to go this way, but it realized the pot's still in the way. So let's just go straight a little bit more. Now it's going to turn right. There's a clear path, it's going straight. It knows the pot's still here, so it's not even going to bother scanning for that area. So it's going even a little more. Now it's going to turn right. It scans for an object. It doesn't see anything. So it'll just go straight some more. Looking for an object. It doesn't see anything, so it goes a little bit more. Now remember that the encoders are a little bit off, so it's shifted from the goal position a little. There's nothing I can do about that. So right now it thinks the goal is right here. Remember that the encoders have shifted, so it's just shifted just this little bit. But it found the goal location, and with adaptive mapping, it's no problem. And that concludes my example of adaptive mapping with the iRobot Create. I want to thank you and remember to visit my site, societyofrobots.com. Thank you.